I get a lot of good questions about the forecast every single week. How much snow are we going to get? What about the winds? What's the difference between partly cloudy and partly sunny? Don't laugh. I'm answering that in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. So what is the difference between partly cloudy and partly sunny? Sure, it's a relatively low impact part of our weather, but people ask about it several times a year, so obviously someone's curious. I'm gonna give two answers. One of them is subjective, meaning it just depends on who you ask. The other, of course, actually has some science tied to it. To me, the difference between partly cloudy and partly sunny is like saying the glass is half full or the glass is half empty. You're basically saying the sky isn't totally clear, but it's not totally cloudy either. So here's how I see it. Partly sunny means that part of the sky is sunny. Partly cloudy, just the opposite. Part of the sky is cloudy. So if you want me to sound more optimistic, you want to hear me say partly cloudy. But that's just my personal language choice. Other weather watchers may have different ideas. But if you look up National Weather Service records, you'll find partly cloudy is their chosen phrase. This is where the science comes in. The National Weather Service keeps a record of average sky cover for every single day. It's measured on a scale from zero to 10, with zero being a perfectly clear sky and 10 being a completely cloudy one. By NWS definition, a quote, partly cloudy day ranges from a four to a seven on that scale. Anything below that is considered clear. Anything above is cloudy. The observations are taken out at the Buffalo airport, just like the temperature and wind data that we show you. I know you're curious, so here's how that breaks down month by month. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek. <laughs>